Okay, so if you've been watching my last few vids, you'd see that I've been doing some work on a Ford Focus. I've been changing the turbo, repairing it, etc. So this is the video about reinstalling it and putting it back together. So you can see just about lining up the brackets is pretty easy because it's all front mounted. You can see the bolts going into the actual manifold themselves. Okay, slide the nuts on them. I replaced the nuts because the other nuts were broken and they were a bit kind of bent from the heat. So if you're going to do that, just put a washer and a nut. It's, it's um, normal BSP thread. I think it's M8 um, bolts, but you'd have to check yourself when you should come to put new ones on. So there's four bolts. There's two on the top and two on the bottom. And they're, um, they bolt in opposing ways. So the front one goes in the top and they come out the bottom. But they're, like, like I said before, they're opposing. Okay, so this is the exhaust bracket. You're gonna need two screwdrivers. Just spread that clamp open to get around the exhaust, to attach it onto the turbo. There you go. All pretty easy stuff. And then just bolt it back together, just the reverse of what we're doing. Now, I didn't quite tighten everything up. I just put everything together and not, not tighten it, but just snugged it up, just to make sure everything was in place. So if I needed to adjust or move anything, I had that little bit of movement available to go and do that. Once you're happy out, everything is set up, you can just tighten it up, just to just get it, just tighten it up. Yeah, just make sure it's in where it's supposed to be and everything's all together. So you can just start tying it up once you're happy with how everything is, all of the turbo and manifold stuff. Now we're tightening up the clamp here. You're gonna need a long socket. If you don't have a long socket, you will end up finishing it off with a spanner like I'm doing, because I didn't quite have a long socket. My advice is to grease the threads to make it a little bit easier for yourself. Now this is the return pipe itself. Just slide that up on there. If you need a bit of oil just to put going inside, do that, but just slide it up on the return pipe and tighten it up. I believe it's a seven mil from what I remember last time. I think it's a seven mil, but it's, you know, if it's not, it's a screwdriver. Now this is the hose bracket that goes across the front, which I took off earlier. And here is the air filter. It's just the reverse of taking it off. If you watch me take it off, it's just the reverse. There's a little rubber band in the corner there. Now, if you um, remove your turbo, you should change your filter because maybe it's been contaminated with some oil and stuff. So now's a good time to change your filter. And as you can see, this one definitely needed it. There you go, see? So make sure you change your filter and make sure you clean out everything else. You meant to clean out all the pipes and the sump. This was all done off camera, but make sure you clean it up. Put a replacement filter in, they're very cheap. And just put it back together, making it really quick and simple because you've seen all this stuff before and it's all pretty easy. Now they are torque sockets on the edge of the air filter there. Just undo them and put them back on. Like I said, all pretty easy stuff. And if you really fancy it, clean the uh, mass airflow sensor. Like I said, remember to clean the pipes. I'm just using some degreaser here. They weren't that bad in there, to be honest. So, you know, clean them a bit better if you can. So putting it all back on is just a reverse. There you go. Just putting everything back in position, clipping everything up. As you can see I'm doing there. Just carry on with everything else and just put it all back together. But I don't, me personally, I don't tighten it up to the very end. Put back on your hoses and your clamps. Make sure your clamps are all there if you're gonna need them. And just make sure everything's sitting right and how it's supposed to sit. There you go, look, as it was before. Now there is a shield that's supposed to go on, which I haven't done yet because I wasn't quite sure with how this was going. So you can put the shield on afterwards, it's pretty easy stuff. So once you're happy with how everything is, once again, just tighten it up like you see me doing here. Really simple, I'm tying up all the Jubilee clips or hose, hose clamp, hose clamps, what they call it in America. But just tighten them up and make sure everything's all put together once you're happy with how everything is suited and situated. Return the uh, mass airflow sensor plug back on. Don't forget that, because it'll make your car run rough if you don't do that. And now what you've got to do with your new turbo in place, you have to prime it up. You have to make sure it does not run dry. So you have to put a little bit of oil onto the turbo itself, just in there so it never ever runs dry. There you go. And then put your banjo bolt back on with your feed pipe. Now, what I do here is I don't tighten it to to totally. I leave it a little bit open. So the next thing you do is you take off the 
uh, plugs off the injector or you immobilize the car either by taking a fuel relay out but i couldn't find a fuel relay on this car because i'm mainly a volkswagen man so i just immobilize it by removing the injector plugs so once you remove the injector plugs you turn the car over until there's oil coming to the uh, turbo i did it a bit too much so i wasn't paying attention but this is confirmation that the oil is coming up to the turbo and it's not going to run dry once you've started it so turn it over for a little while and make sure you've got the oil there. Once you've got the oil, you tighten it up and you clean up around there. Now, because of the excess amount of smoke, because of the excess amount of oil, this may smoke a little. So you'll have to clean it up afterwards. But once you're happy that oil is getting there, you can just tighten it up and start your car. Now, what you are to expect, you have to expect there's gonna be some smoke coming out of the exhaust because you've got to realize that smoke has traveled throughout the engine. It's also important to clean out your intercoolers and anywhere where oil may have gathered up because you could end up with a runaway situation. What I mean by runaway is that the engine gets fueled by the oil and you can't turn the car off, which almost happened to me. As you can see, I'm just squirting some degreaser down there to get everything off. So make sure you clean your pipes and put it back together like this and take your time with um, revving the car and stuff because you know um, everything you've got to let everything bed in a little bit. You don't want to just be hitting it with high revs. Allow everything to get used to things. So I hope that helped. Comment, rate, subscribe. It's a very important tip to make sure you prime that turbo because you don't want it to run dry. So I hope that helps. Thank you for watching as usual. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.